No, no filters, filters on podcast. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, y'all? We are back with another episode of No Filters the Podcast. I am Honey T, and I'm here with my host Mo, and we have another guest today. I'm Eighty. What's up? What's up with it? So for people who may not know you, do you want to go ahead and give yourself a little introduction? Tell the people what you do. Big introduction. Oh, <laughs> big introduction. Big introduction. Oh, man. Uh, I'm a producer. You know, I've been doing it for about 15, 16 years. Okay. I've been blessed, you know, work with some some big names in the industry. Can you name drop? Or? Name some. Name drop. I mean, uh... You don't have to. Lil Wayne. Oh! Birdman. Come on. NLE Chopper. Okay, that's Trippy my guy. Yeah, it's a it's a long list, man. I ain't trying to take up all the time. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> Talk your shit. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so it's been a little minute since so we did a little catch up. You know, you know, me and Mahandas always faithful troopers <laughs> to the pod. She came troop ready today. Man. So what's been going on, Mohan? What's been going on? Uh, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know about you. I feel like we've been at a lot of events. We have. We've been networking, you know. We've been networking. Networking a lot. Yeah, we have been networking a lot. Partying. Party, party, party. Let's all get wasted. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We went out for Halloween. Yeah, Halloween was cool. We didn't dress up. Well, she was a slutty I cat. I was a cat. <laughs> slutty kitty. I was a cat. And I, my, my little ears kept falling off. I ain't cared <laughs> I ain't care. It is what it is. Yeah. But what else? We don't feel like we did. Hello. Nothing really. I mean, honestly, besides that, um, getting ready for my birthday trip. We going to LA. We vlogging it. So y'all gonna we get lucky running. and get and a I'm little behind the, the scenes. This time. Yeah, we're gonna, gonna do TikToks. TikToks, all of that. So we gonna drop a little vlog episode on the YouTube page so y'all can see all the crazy stuff we do. But yeah. So um, we wait, get... wait, ask him what he been doing. Sorry. Shit. <laughs> God, he don't, he don't been, seem like nah, he wanna nah, I ain't been doing shit I, I just been working That's all just I been do working. Is work Take care of my son Okay I'm just working on my music shit For real mm -hmm. I ain't doing nothing special Let me get a I done been out a few times But not, not like Every weekend type shit Yeah like, you know what I mean? Oh no, yeah. we be I ain't really streets. I don't go out like that <laughs> Okay Okay So do you got any like New things that you're dropping soon Or anything you're working on That you can speak about Or not that I can speak about, nah. No, we just gotta wait and see, huh? Yeah, it ain't it ain't gonna be too long though. It ain't gonna be too yeah. long. Okay, okay. I'm about to start my rap career. All right. Uh, she said this every episode. <laughs> somebody I'm about real. Let me get somebody beat. listen to me. I'm somebody listen to you. Somebody please. challenged her to a freestyle. Um, they did challenge her to a freestyle. It's up. I'm I about heard to get you my rapping little... earlier too on the mic chat. Yeah, mm -hmm. you feel me? I got a little something to say. Yeah, you know, the people say. listen to me a little bit. So, mm -hmm. okay, you know. All right, so we about to get into our first topic. I'm sure everybody. Oh, we ain't gonna do the icebreaker. You wanna do the icebreaker? What's the icebreaker? Oh, the um, or this or that. This or that. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, y'all. This is a late night episode, so we a little offbeat. But anyway, go ahead. So we are gonna do a, um, this or that rapper edition, basically. Nah, I got a lot of different ones. This it ain't just that. well uh, rapper edition no, or. No, it's just. Uh, well, overall. we're gonna play this or that. We're gonna play this or that. She's gonna list. Oh, that's like. Oh, yeah. This or that. Things, you gotta pick one. It's going to be rappers and what else? It's a little bit of everything. Lifestyle stuff, preferences, mm -hmm. one or two sex questions. You okay. Know. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Get it started. A little bit of okay, y'all want to do easy or hard first? Man, you might as well get the hard shit out of the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now I'm going to say something easy. Cake or ice cream? Uh, ice cream. Uh, boo. Uh. I'm going to go cake. I'm going to go cake, Cake. Too. Cake for the win. I don't know. I gotta have whippy icing though. Cause I, I fuck cream with ice cream, cream, but yeah, I like like the uh, the chocolate cake. Chocolate like cake. cake. I like yeah. strawberry with cream cheese icing. I like cream cheese icing too. Mm -hmm. I just thought about it. Yeah. Okay. Young Thug or Future? Future. Future. Uh, I'm gonna say thug. You gonna say thug? I'm gonna say thug. His yeah. last album was a vibe, nah, they though. Both, that, that ain't like no easy decision. It's, it's not, not an easy I'm decision. I'm just going future because, bruh, I fuck with the wizard movement. You know what I mean? Yeah. Once he got to, I don't know. Y'all know I be trying not to be biased, but once somebody become corny to me, everything they do is corny. So would you feel like future's corny now? Yeah. You don't think he's corny? No. 
<laughs> no, you don't. I don't. I mean, you know, I think everybody corny though. I'm a little I biased. feel like Future is very like he's very low key. Like so, I could see he would just tell her, you know, always in the blogs and the media. Well, he did have his little run with all the baby mama drama. I ain't exactly. gonna lie, but he ain't say not one word. Like I feel like he just like he just a low key type of nigga. So. You know, we get little bits and pieces. He speak on certain things. But you know? you know what I will say, though? Why I picked Thug? Because I wasn't a huge Thug fan at first. I wasn't either. Nah, it wasn't until... Yeah, like, I had to... I caught on late. Like, I listened to him, but now, like, I be looking for him. Thug. Like, yeah. Bro, hard for Yeah, me. like, <laughs> like, I be looking for him now. Like, yeah. okay, Thug, about to drop. But yeah. at first, it wasn't like that. I yeah, I agree. Like that. I like the, um, the last album. What was it? Um, YSL... The compilation yeah. album with all the artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then hard. his last art, uh, album that just dropped, I've been listening to that like uh-huh. nonstop. Yeah, that was I hard. Like that. So, yeah, I like I like his versatility yeah, on that for sure. Yeah, they disagreed with us the last time. They did. Ooh. So, you liked it? We had. That last uh, album? Yeah. yeah, yeah that last album was hard. It was yeah. hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He really showed He was his on his artistry. music shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I like I that. And I could understand everything he said. So, I was like, y'all just said. That's it. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> okay. Drake or Lil Wayne? Bitch. Oh, they on that. It's wheezy for me. We, I know you was going to say that. This hard. I'm going to go Wayne. I'm going to go Wayne. Wayne. Yeah. Yeah, it's wheezy for me. You want O2 Lil Wayne and a new white tee? Nah, nah. I'm just saying Wayne, period. Okay. Like, Wayne, Wayne. He been yeah. doing his thing consistently for, yeah. for a long time. Yeah. For a long time. For a long time. I feel like Drake, Drake... His, Drake hard though. Drake is hard as an artist as a whole, but lyrically and bars wise, he can't go to the toe of Wayne at all. As an artist as a whole, yeah, but lyrically, no, it's enough for me. You don't think so? Not at all. You think he don't Drake get no got that. Drake can rap. Mm-hmm. Drake can rap. Though. He can rap. Yeah. He got a good flow. He got charisma. Like he got a good cadence. He switches flow up. He switch up his sound. But bar toe to toe, he can't. He ain't. If no he way. That, he not that metaphors. far behind though. He not that. He's far not behind. that far behind. But we he not, can't. But you know why she's saying that? Because Wayne had that one era, era. Yeah. where he was just rapping. Wow, yeah. Drake like, Drake best album can go up against um mixtape Weezy. It's a no for me. I mean, nah, nah it can't. Mm-mm. But who? What battle rapper was trying to um, battle rap Drake? Was it Cassidy? Cassidy? <laughs> so no. I ain't lying. I he was just beefing with somebody. I forget who it was. He was just beefing with Tory Lanez. But oh, I'm yeah, Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez. That. No, nah. I don't remember what battle rapper. I swear he was trying to go against Drake. I'm not saying that. No, I don't, I don't remember that. that. I ain't yeah. that I'm going to have to bring it up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next on the list, we got Kick a Door or Vet Pass By. <laughs> Kick it's by. kick a door for me. Really? It's bad well, pass, pass, pass by. Bad pass by. Everybody, Everybody look. Okay. It's, uh, the same uh, it's literally the same. It is. Oh, it is. Okay. I was, that's why at first when you said that, I was like, <laughs> what? But I'll, I'm going to go bet pass beat. by it. I'm going to go bet pass by I yeah. feel like kick a door make me choose violence. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to kick a door. <laughs> I'm going to go and kick a door. Yeah. I'm going to go and kick a door. I feel like he wasn't saying that on kick a door. It, like, he, oh, that, that shit was hard. He said no, what needed to be he said. He was saying but what I'm saying is Vet Pass By is way more catchy. Yeah. Nah, for sure. You know what I mean? Like, I remember the words of Vet Pass By way That's easier than classic. I did. That's a classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can play that mm-hmm. whatever. And we go, yeah, what? still. We but, they that. can play that 20 years from now. It's going to be the Drop It Like It's Hot. Of our, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a drop of the um no <laughs> no no hey. drop like it's hot. Back, no, back that ass up. That's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be that. You know how they been playing back that ass up for Don't twenty play years. Play Duck, cause drop it like it's hot. No. I mean they might can still play. That whole album. I don't was know bad. where I just nah, get that sure. from. I don't know where you got that from either. But Snoop <laughs> did <this> shit. Okay. <laughs> Don't play my uncle, please. No, please. Hey. But for real, it. okay. What's next? Okay. Metro Boomin or Zaytoven? Metro. Zaytoven. I'm going Metro too. You going Metro? I'm going Metro. Yeah, I'm going Metro. Zaytoven is amazing though. But. Yeah, Zaytoven is But amazing. you know what make me think about Zaytoven? It's when him and Gucci. Yeah. That's why I be like, It makes me hard. think of future. You fucking up bitch. It made me think of that. What mixtape was that? But then you got, if young Metro beast don't mode. trust you, I'm going to Yeah, Beast Mode. Yeah. I don't know, but I'm still going to yeah. Metro Boomin though. Yeah, I like Metro. I'm going Metro Boomin only because 
he's a more versatile producer to me. Oh like, yeah, that's true. He can he can produce for more than one artist and different genres and all yeah. that. Yeah, I that's feel like I feel like Zaytoven is more like um, I'm not gonna say established. I would say maybe goaded. That's probably not the best terminology. I know what but you know, saying. he been you know he been around he like been around. he kind of yeah. helped Gucci he when he first came out. Like he a lot of yeah, like when he first came out. yeah. Shit. So that's why I would say Zaytoven. Oh yeah, Zaytoven. But I'm and pretty yeah. sure Metro look up to Zaytoven. Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. Know what I mean, yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. I want one more. Oral or vaginal? <sighs> Girl, <laughs> it's this or that. Pick one. It's vaginal for me. Okay. I'm going pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so we all agree. What's your answer? Vaginal. Okay. Vaginal. Vaginal, okay. Vaginal okay. for the win. <laughs> for yeah. the win. Vaginal for the win. Okay, so we were just talking about Future, and I know y'all seen the tweet when he's talking about he would rather hang with Jada than Will. <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> He got merch Bro, coming out. Hey, they sold out. Know. You ain't see it? The yeah, hoodies is the too. hoodies is sold out. Yes. So what do I think about the whole Will and Jada situation? Like, I feel like personally, she is being painted as the bad guy when Will been doing his dirt for 20 years. <laughs> nobody... I'm gonna and tell nobody's you, saying shit we because we're, we're not, in the age of social media, so I feel like everything no, is being amplified. It is. It's not. The, we know Will was doing him. This is this is the problem that I have with her. That's public. She's putting it's, it out there. Yeah. It's and my thing is, it's okay for you to be transparent, but when they sat down and did that episode on Red Table Talk, Will blatantly said that he was doing the stuff that wasn't good to her. Yeah. She was like, yes, and I had sexual encounters with this. It be how she chooses her words. Like, yeah. her words don't be the best. Like, yeah. it's like, the yeah. way she word everything, it be sounding like she, like, not in love no more. Like, how many times you gonna say that this man not here for you? How many times you gonna say that you don't want to be with him no more? How many times you gonna right. say he don't please you? Will admitted to his wrongdoings, okay? That's why, yeah. I, that's my nigga. I fuck with you. Yeah. But he chose his words wisely. Like, yeah. That's but all everybody, I can say. that's different though. You talking about a man and a woman? Yeah, it's gonna be a different communication style from each party. Yeah, you know and I, I feel mean? like Will is a bigger star, so he's more groomed for the media to to say things a certain way. Jada hasn't had well, where as the fuck big is as her as, training. <laughs> obviously, it hasn't been. <laughs> obviously, she ain't had that much. But I mean, you know, like I don't know. I feel like I don't know though, cause she had her run. She did, but his been continuous since he done been a, a star. I will say he had larger his movers, roles. His, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what, what it is. Yeah, he had larger roles, mm -hmm. but my thing is she still should have media training. I, I don't, don't think she cares. She probably doesn't. I don't think she. I cares. think she's fed up. Honestly, I think some she's people fed just up communicate too. like that. Yeah. Some people just communicate that. That's their communication style. Yeah. So what do y'all think about, like, overall, just, like... <laughs> <laughs> she got weak. <laughs> <laughs> that is... I don't know. I feel like they need to have a red table talk <laughs> with... They did. Oh, with, no, <laughs> no, with... Um, what's the girl fixing my <laughs> life? Oh, Ayala. They need to oh, sit yeah, down yeah. with she her. She's gonna be like, leave She gonna go off. She gonna knock everything off the table. She gonna go off with her, yeah. She like her. She be helping me fix my life. She do. <laughs> Virtually. You be, <laughs> you be taking would, those a week. They done had some good episodes. Yeah, oh, for sure. Some of them people just be... Fucked up. Fucked up. Lost, <laughs> lost cause. <laughs> but what do y'all think overall about, like, bad mouth and a relationship in the public eye? Like... Would you ever Would do I that? Have you ever that? did that? Yeah, like, or have somebody ever did that to you in a relationship? I hope not. I don't know. You don't know? I don't think so. You don't think so? Pro I don't know. You wouldn't know? I'd be out here floating. I don't be knowing what the fuck be going on. You'd be, be out here floating. I'm trying to float, too. Yeah, the shows going to have float you floating. For real. Yeah. You, I want to be in a space where I really don't care about nothing. But what you going to do when the high go down? And you snap back to reality. It don't never go down. Be like everybody else and get high again. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> That's what they be doing. Oh, they you got to deal with your yeah, issues. Yeah. You got to yeah, deal with your yeah. problems. And then it's going to feel even better when you get high because you know when you come down, they don't exist. Oh, no, nah, I just want to float. I ain't saying I'm you just floating float. and get rid of no problems. Right. I'm just saying, you know. Uh -huh. So, like, have you ever, like, 
bad mouth the ex or oh, yeah. I had an ex bad mouth sure. you on social media or put y'all business sure. out there? No, nah, I don't think I never put no business out there, but I definitely probably said some shit like fuck him, mm-hmm. you know, little stuff like that. Or mm-hmm. some shit where you knew a motherfucker knew who he was talking so, about. But I ain't yeah. really say like, oh, he did this. Right. Like, I never did nothing like that. You ain't but... never made made a, let me tell you about this nigga post? No. Nah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah. I ain't doing that. I ain't that's doing scary. that. But I definitely, I mean, you know, sometimes your moves match what you post mm-hmm. and vice versa. Like, right. I, but you know me, I play so much. People won't even know if I'm playing. If you're playing, if you're serious. If I'm serious yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I would say me personally, I have in the past, but um, I spoke about this on our last episode. Like, my last relationship, like, nobody will ever even know if we was up or down. Like, I never posted nothing. I never posted no memes. Like, I didn't even make an officially single post. Like, I nobody even knew I was single. Like, it was just like I just deleted all the pictures and just kind of moved on. Like I don't, I why feel like the okay, why keep them? I still got mass pictures on my phone. No, because I be laughing. I be looking back and laughing. You be laughing. <laughs> See, I don't keep, I don't keep <laughs> pictures. Like, she fucked up. For no, real. I mean, <laughs> she talking about I be laughing. I be, no. I be laughing. Nah, you know how you post that shit up? You don't, so you don't delete the pictures nah, after I a breakup? I delete shit after I laugh at it. After, nah, like, you know how you look back and be like, this nigga ugly for real. And oh, I'll be like, what the fuck what was I thinking? Yeah. Like, what was See, I nah, thinking? Nah, because then like, I feel guilty and ashamed. I need all that bad energy out of it my life. It ain't bad. But you know how I look at it, though? Like, my thing is, at the end of the day, when you leave a situation, you can still hang on to them good memories because you sometimes you create memories with people and that's all you were supposed to take away from that situation. Yeah. You weren't supposed to take nothing else but the memories and but them good times. So if we had good times and we kicked yeah. it, you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It ain't got to be on no, this is my ex that I love. It don't yeah. got to be on that. Yeah. At one, one point in time, whoever you was talking to, that was your friend anyway. Like You know right. what I mean? Like, I feel like you were my never friend. my friend if you Here broke she my heart. It's like, no. There she go. But no. There she go. That's that Scorpio but no. fit. Here Bruh. we go. But no, honestly, like, I just feel like I can't think, I can't revisit the good memories without thinking about the bad. So I just got to completely get rid of it. Like, that's just me. Like Once I'm over it, Completely. That helps me get over the situation. See, that don't, I like I don't out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. I'm that type yeah, of person. Like, I be deleting that shit. Yeah, I'm that shit. following you. I'm all, all of that. that. Yeah, like yeah. ain't no evidence of us ever existing. Nobody what? knows. I don't be knowing motherfuckers <laughs> no more. Yeah, see? oh, I definitely don't know people no more. But for sure, I'm I'm a put. This is the thing. People be lying on me. I be <laughs> cheating. <laughs> Muff, that's like <life. laughs> I be needing. <laughs> I be needing to have my, you feel me, my evidence. Hey. I be needing to pull that up. Stop. I wish somebody nah, would real. lie on me. I wish somebody would lie. I don't want nobody to have a chance to be like, oh, she. Nah, I didn't. Because on January 2nd, 1972, <laughs> right. you never you know. Said, you never know. Yeah. I'm yeah. You never, I ain't making this. Mm-hmm. Pulling out the receipts. I'm pulling ladies. out the yeah. receipts. How you think Soulja Boy got all them receipts? He got that shit in his phone. Yeah. He nah, I was the first it. nigga to. Yeah, he got me? them. I was the first nigga receipts for sure. Yeah. That's going to be me. This I is going to be it. me. Yeah. I'm going to have it all right here. Yeah. Ready for him. Ready. Right. So that's that's not. But yeah, I also feel like a lot of times it's dumb to do if you're gonna take the person back and be with them. Like, Facts. so it's like you might as well just not say nothing unless you completely made your mind up about what your situation is gonna be. Like at the end of the day, like for example, like Cardi and Offset, he done cheated on her so many times, and they done been all over the blogs and all of this other stuff, and then she just end up taking them back. I was so I was be proud like, of her though because she. She came out and she said, I decided I didn't want to divorce him. I love him. At least she said that. Yeah. Most girls yeah. just been like, this my man. Y'all can't tell me what we doing. Da, da, uh-huh. da, da. But I only had one boyfriend as an adult, so I can't really speak to him. Yeah. Can you, take, can you take back somebody cheating on you if it was, if, be, if it became public? <laughs> I mean, it depends on the relationship, for real. Really? Yeah. How strong the bond is? Yeah, how strong it is. So what about on... marriage? You not getting a divorce? Uh-huh. If, like, if... <laughs> <laughs> if I Hold was on, married, you... like if you was married, like would you married? reconcile? What you mean by married? If you were... <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> moving on. <Is> that... <laughs> nah. nah, he said. But clearly, you're not with the marriage, marriage shit. I don't... You don't think I don't you could ever really... see yourself getting married? Man, I'll be 
That should be like a dream for real. It do. I always like, feel like you want to know what's crazy. This dude just told me like, man, dudes don't be thinking about getting married, and I was like, really? And he was like, nah. He was like, now we gonna choose our wife for sure, but yeah. we don't just be sitting around like I want to get married. I don't want to like, get married on paper. I don't want the government involved in okay, solidifying she, she, she talking, and solidifying my union with the person I choose to love I for the rest of that. my life. The only thing no. is, when now it comes to talking. the legal side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the yeah legal. that's what I'm the saying. Le- yeah, like the legal side is the only reason why you need the paper. That's really yeah. the right. only reason you need it. Other yeah. than that, you really don't need the piece of paper. Yeah. I ain't no so, Yeah. You so, just don't want it on paper. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's weird. It, I well, mean, I gotta like, sign who, a piece of paper right? To like, what does that be prove? Like, besides to the government, like, it don't prove nothing to us. Like, that's some different. The shit. love not gonna change just because we signed a piece of paper, you know? Nah, real yeah. shit. Wait, yeah. so do you want a big wedding? Hell nah. I. <laughs> I just, I'm asking. I just thought about this the other day. It's I feel be. like I feel like a lot of people want the wedding and not the marriage. Like. Honestly, hey, like, just said some shit for real. but I feel like as um, women, we're groomed from little girls to want to be somebody's wife and have a big marriage See, no, and have uh-uh. kids. Like, that's cool. I'm trying to go, on but a I don't feel like honeymoon. that's what I'm that's saying. Cool. Like, yeah, I, don't wanna, I, I don't want to, I want no big talk- wedding. Oh, yeah, 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 I feel yeah. like I will have a, like a reception type party thing for yeah. everybody to celebrate our marriage, but I'm not paying all of this small, money. Intimate wedding, like, literally, like me, yeah. my husband, like a couple people, our parents, probably. Yeah, I want my and that's it, and then mm-hmm. we can have a reception, but. Even that, we, I'm trying to do on the reception. Yeah, I'd rather just have, like, yeah, a honeymoon. Yeah, oh, I just want a sure. real a house yeah. and a honeymoon. That's it. I, yeah. We don't even That's need it. A, a house and a honeymoon. <laughs> yeah. I'm gone. I'm yeah. cool. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Yeah. That's I'm cool with that, too, honestly. Yeah, I ain't with the paper shit. Yeah, and don't paperwork. <laughs> so, um, like, speaking of Cardi B, this is something I wanted to ask you about. Um, she had made a statement recently on social media basically saying that drug music, drug music has kind of ruined club music. Like... Nowadays, music, nowadays, she well, she said, People that okay, this is what she said. Drugs, she said, Cardi B says, rappers who drink lean and smoke weed have ruined the clubbing experience with sad songs. And she said, basically, the club need me, the strippers need me. Like, basically, like, nowadays, a lot of rappers, like, it's a lot of like Chicago beef rap and Right. Jug music. It's like it's not really like no dance turn up music for people, you know, to really go and have fun. People in the club singing about doing drugs and killing people. Like I'm right. biased though, cause I get turned off that. I yeah, mean, of that course, be like it, it do, but I do kind of agree to a certain extent because us growing up, what we had, we had Yin Yang Twins. Yeah, we had we all the twerk club, music. Though. We was in the teen club. Nah, we was in the teen club. The teen, the teen, nah, teen yeah, club. The teen party was time it. was different. Bro, right, that's a, bro we no, last of a dying hey. breed. This generation. They couldn't do that. They don't Hell got no nah, teen club. Boy. We had Metropolis. We still had some type of sense. Like, well, yeah. yeah. They can't well, have no teen club. Because they in the club listening to Chicago beef music. That's why. Learn, but it's like, T, you I'll be in to... my car listening to Chicago beef. But yeah. you're a grown woman. You're but a grown you woman. Don't wanna be in the, you don't want to be in the club listening to the same type of music the whole time you there. Yeah, that's true. But think about it. When we was 21, 18 to 21, just now being a being old enough to get into the club, the music, like the substance and the subject matter wasn't the same as it is now. It wasn't I would the say same, that. but it's like... Um, Everybody, motherfuckers got to tell their story. You can't knock them off for telling their story. I mean, that's true. Music. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think it was uh, the substance. Definitely wasn't the like same, we were just talking about feeling, Rich Homie Kwan. The feeling. Oh, I can't like, wait to see Rich Homie Kwan. Type of way, lifestyle. Yeah. That wasn't no like I'm a shooter nigga. But them weren't dancing bitch. songs either. They could have been. We was in the club. We wanted to, to be dancing to lifestyle. <laughs> I said type of way. <laughs> We want this. You want a different type of way? No. You want okay. So for example, who who used to make all them truck songs? Speaker knockers. Speaker knockers and K. Speaker knockers, K. Stylers, like all of them. We had all of the like. We was fresh out of high school. But I'm just saying the difference now. It's not like that. It's not a lot of rappers that make like dance music like that make you want to turn up and dance. Nah, dance music era came and went. You think so, young? I mean, it's still certain dance type music out there, but. 
You don't think it could ever be recovered? I don't think they would be making music to dance to. Because Ski wasn't a dance song, and they made it a dance song. They made it that. Because we in a TikTok. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We in a different era, though. But you got to think. So it's like, that's the new wave of dance music type shit. Think about the song that we was doing the Santana dance Mm -hmm. to. That's not no dance song. We just start dancing to the beat. Yeah, Yeah, that's true. Well, nowadays, we hear beat. We don't hear words. Yeah, that's true. If the beat make you feel... Man, if if I turn the mu- the song up in my car all the way to the max and that shit rocking, I'm rocking. That's I don't it. care. I don't care right. about nothing else. Yeah. Right. You could be talking But do you think that's something nothing. you become accustomed to? <laughs> Hell yeah, you become accustomed nah, to. Because, like, shit. when we was younger, we wasn't in a car turning up to Gucci and Jeezy. They Who was? was? Not, yes, we was. Not dancing. We were. Uh, making who, up who dances. Was no, we weren't. I wasn't nah. making up dances. I, a, I did have a dance to, um... And then what? First, I'm going to stack. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. I swear we had Alexis. She did the dance. Alexis? I don't want to call her after. Call like, behind us. the scene. Y'all had a dance. And then what about GC and Manny? Oh, we. <laughs> but I'm saying, though, we danced to what we wanted to dance to. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Feel. It didn't, we didn't care yeah. about the words. The words don't. I'm a jug to Crazy Story by King mm-hmm. Von. I don't care. That yeah. beat is hard. Yeah, like, it's the beat. It's the beat. Boy. It's the beat. Man, what? It, when that it, beat drop? It start with the beat. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it do start. Okay, so that's another thing we wanted to ask you. Speaking What's... of the beats, do you feel like producers get enough respect when it comes to the success of a song? I mean, it depends on... It depends. Sometimes it depends. they do, sometimes they don't. Do you feel like it's better when... A producer and an artist collab on the whole project, like say like Future and Zaytoven or Metro Boomin. Yeah, it's definitely it's like, way better. Yeah, it's like instead of one song, you really get to build a chemistry, right? And give motherfuckers like a body of work versus just one song. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? You yeah, know how, like certain artists will just link with a producer and make one song with them. Mm-hmm. I don't like that. I like you when motherfuckers put out little short projects, or, right? You know what I mean? EP. Okay. Yeah. So do you feel like? You don't, you don't agree? Do you agree or disagree with that statement? As far as like the like producers, producers getting like enough recognition as far as their I would say overall, yeah, for sure. You think so? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say uh-huh. it changed. You, you think, think it, changed? it definitely changed? I think back then when we was coming up, they didn't. But I think now, like, first of all, let's make the clarification: it's the difference between a producer and a beat maker. What you know about that? It is. I mean, that's It is sense. a difference. Yeah. I mean, it's a difference, people that make it... beats just make beats. People that produce really say, oh, some, change some your both. lyrics. Yeah. So they see the song from start to finish. They don't right. just make the beat and pass it on. Yeah. Nah, for sure. You know yeah. what I mean? So, a beat maker is still a producer, though. Mm-hmm. In a sense, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get what you're saying. But you right, though. Mm-hmm. You absolutely But I think right. it depends on who you talk to. It, it is a difference. It yeah. depends on who you talk to. But I to. will say this. When when people are oh I was saying that it changed and I'm only saying that because nowadays we talking about producers and artists linking up I think depending on the artist and how big the song is that's when the producer gets a lot of recognition yeah for and sure. you know what I, I mean? also for feel sure. like um, nowadays a lot of like the producers they have their tags so you know what yeah, they song you know who it is. so yeah. that kind of helps a lot and nowadays with the age of social media like. The producers is posting the plaques just like the artist is. They get like I follow I, I follow a lot of producers on I social media. Like and every time they produce something, like they posting the plaques. Like you wouldn't even not know. Like sure. you know, everybody just not figuring out murder, murder beats is it's white. white. I was yes. gonna uh-huh. say Y'all that. I was that? like, I no, knew I know. Like oh. I'm like when, y'all. If you, oh, niggas ain't know. If they did, niggas comments, did not know. Majority of his comments niggas be did like, not know. I didn't know you was white. I didn't know you was white. I swear, majority of his comments be saying I didn't know you was white. I'm like, how did y'all not know murder was white? Yeah. Bro, what? That's yeah. Fried. And I feel like if it wasn't for the age of social media, they but still that makes sense wouldn't though, because it's like, yeah, exactly. They mm-hmm. still yeah, no, they right. only know because the they seeing media. it. Right. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. But shoot, I, mm-hmm. I, but you got to think though, because back in the day, like a lot of producers was like in the music videos, like Manny Fresh. Manny Fresh yeah. was yeah. in hella videos. Bro was a, he was an artist though. He, he was, he was, was, he was, he a, was producer, a DJ. But he a, yeah, he a yeah. DJ. I mean, think about producer. DJ Khaled. He wore a lot of hats. Huh? That DJ Khaled nigga Khaled is annoying. I fuck with See, Khaled. He worse than Diddy. I respect his grind though. I ain't <laughs> nah, gonna bro, lie. Nah, bro, cold. Khaled, I, cold. I do, but he worse than Diddy. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, he a little bit. Do y'all think he a culture vulture? DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled. I don't know why you say that. He not black. 
Man, man, that I man ain't... grew up in the trenches. I... I <laughs> How you know? I, I watched. You watch it? He got a documentary? No, he don't got a documentary. I watched enough documentaries to know who he was rolling and riding with. Okay. I watched. Nah, like, bro. I just remember a little while ago that was kind of like a debate on social media. Like, is DJ Khaled a culture vulture? Like, nah, you know, nah. he was he was DJing in clubs that was getting shot up. Like, yeah, he really bro. was yeah. around this stuff. So mm-hmm. it'd be different if he just popped up out of nowhere. Like, yeah, nah, mm-hmm. yeah, bro, Fisher. Yeah, mm-hmm. like he really. But I was yeah, he, him, um, Cool and Dre. Cool and Dre. They produced a lot of shit. But back then, they the was runners. like on hooks and shit too. So you yeah. knew who yeah. they was. Like, yeah. I just think it's different. Like back then, the producers really had to make a way for themselves too because we didn't have social media. Right. Now that we got social media, you can see a producer whole life and not even know or correlate the two. You just know they're a producer. Right. You know exactly. I mean? yeah. Nah, social media changed it for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, back for in the sure. day, it's like, Motherfuckers weren't really digging that deep into behind the music, you know what I mean? Yeah. But now yeah. since everything visual on social media, motherfuckers mm-hmm. see it. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's easily accessible. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Because yeah. I follow everybody. And they all like manage all their social media well. Like, mm-hmm. why is Zaytoven on TikTok? He is. I love him and his I wife. Yet. I follow him. I follow him on Instagram. On yeah, yeah. On TikTok. But on TikTok. I feel like you got. I, I feel like you got to keep up with the times and what the trends are as far as getting your music, your brand, or whatever you got doing out there. Like mm-hmm. nowadays, it's TikTok. So if you want to stay relevant, especially to the new generation who may not know you from the past, like you got to get on TikTok. Yeah, because my you man got to get on TikTok. Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Y'all on TikTok? Who's your man? More yeah. chestnut. He's on TikTok. <laughs> oh, brother. He's on TikTok. <laughs> Not more Bruh. chestnut. Girl, that what? what he be on there doing? Girl, modeling. All modeling. Smiling with the white teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I be seeing them. Mm. I can't fuck with the TikTok. You can't? You can't? Nah, my brain fucked up. All you got to do, but it's this is It's too much shit to be looking at back to back. Nah, you don't even got to watch stuff. You, you could just pose. It. Like, if you're recording yourself in the studio... Like the the process of you maybe like making a beat or producing yeah. a song or anything like that, you just can take videos on your on your phone, regular phone, camera or whatever, and just upload, them, upload them on there like that. Like you don't gotta um like take the video I'm on the app. I'm gonna tell you though. Listen, I'm gonna tell you though. <laughs> People love looking and watching and seeing what you doing. The process. Like, in the process. I, yeah. Even, I'm not even talking about if you doing something. Even if you are not doing nothing. Like, me, all I do is be myself on social media all day. And yeah. my views be going crazy. Mm-hmm. People really just love watching you do whatever yeah. the fuck it whatever is you, you do. do. Yeah. Yeah, 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 so yeah. you really should do that, though. So is I'm going to think about it, man. Mm-hmm. I can't you want me to run your socials for you? Uh, if you hey. I now that offering, social media managers, though, that's a thing now. If you now. offering, goddamn, because I thing. definitely, I be tired of that shit, man. Yeah, it Instagram, is. It is a job. Facebook, Twitter, it is a job. It's a job. It's hella shit already. You want me to add another app? Mm-hmm. Where this motherfucker just going crazy back to back? I feel like it be some funny shit on TikTok though. It do, man. What yeah. I be in I be tears in, that, in the video. People be reposting that shit like on Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. I be crying for sure. That shit funny. <laughs> Nah, so do you nah. um do you have anybody on your wish list that you want to work with that you haven't worked with yet? That I ain't work with yet. Man, the only person I really be it's a lot of people I want to work with. If you can name three people. Three people. Jay Z. Mm-hmm. Kanye. Damn, that's a tough on the third one. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna probably go um I'm gonna go Drake. Drake, okay. Yeah. So, who, like, a producer or an artist-wise, like, who do you feel like what is your biggest influence or was your biggest influence maybe growing up to get into the music industry? Man, it'd be hard to choose the biggest one because it's like... Yeah. I mean, you could pick a couple, yeah, but, like, you know, like, who influenced you to want to get into music? Manny Fresh, Timbaland. Mm. Timbaland. Ooh. Ooh. Timbaland. Yeah. Timbaland need his flyers. Yeah. They be sleeping on him. Yeah, Timbo, man, he one of the coldest ever to me personally. Like mm. his style was just his so style. different from yeah. everybody else. Shit. Always have been. Yeah. Like one like, in a million, if that came out today, it'll still, it'll go still be about. platinum. It'll yeah, still like still be about. didn't they remake that one? No, they just re released her albums, but um Not somebody made like a remake song. Who Tink? Song. Yeah, didn't she? Tink did she was signed to Timbaland. Yeah. But that that I don't know what happened with that. Out. Yeah, it didn't work out. But, but you know, Timberland signed a couple people. Yeah, I don't know what be happening with Timberland. He but. signed uh, one of the girls on um, what was the show called that Bill was on? The who? 
Bia was on. Um, sister. Yeah. Like that. One of the girls yeah, yeah, yeah. Were to him. Yeah. Oh, for real? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nah, bro, he he definitely one of my top influencers for mm-hmm. sure. Timbaland, uh, man, DJ Paul and Juicy J. Oh, DJ Paul. Like, they, they beats were so crazy. Like, when I back, hear what Juicy say, I be geeking. Yeah. Man. Yeah, Juicy it, J. It, that, that's probably some of my, like, the mm-hmm. main stuff I was listening to when I was growing up, mm-hmm. for real. What about For Real? I respect For Real, Ooh, the Neptunes? For Real, for sure, yeah. yeah. Top, tier. Yeah. Top, Top tier. tier. Yeah. Top tier. Yeah. Top tier. They definitely sure. brought a different sound. Like, uh, For Real and Jay-Z collab. Like, all nah, the songs they, they ever collabed shit, on, for real like, I Snoop. love. For Real and Snoop. For Real, for real and Snoop. For real. He done had, For Real done had some shit with a few people. For yeah, he had. Yeah. people for sure. Mm-hmm. Right. For Real, one of them artists, he really, you could put him on any song. Yeah, yeah basically. Yeah. Remember him and Ludacris was doing hella songs. I'm like, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. That yeah. shit was gone. Yeah. But that was a different era, though. That, that was, was Yeah, mm-hmm. that was a different time in music. It was. It was. That was music. So, yeah, yeah. We, we on some different shit now. <laughs> I feel like I feel like versatility isn't as it isn't being accepted as much as it did back then. Like nowadays, I feel like people people will complain if they feel like you're not doing enough, and then we want to switch it up. Oh, she's trying to they be like this complain. person. Oh, you trying exactly. to be like yeah. that person? Like exactly. you can't like really play. And I feel like a lot of artists these days they let social media get to their head. Mm. But you know, like why? y'all over here. Like in y'all feelings over a bunch of teenagers. Like if he teenagers in the That's comments, they trolling people, yeah, sure. they like, they control a lot of stuff now. That's why. Mm-hmm. Like when we was just talking about having to keep up with the times, the teenagers are the next generation. So any artists that feel like they gonna have some longevity, mm-hmm. they have to appear to a certain yeah. crowd. You know what I right. mean? It's almost like voting. Not like when sure. people are yeah. here campaigning, they gotta see who they need to tend to, who they for need to sure, put their. Sure. You know what I mean? That's how it is. Mm-hmm. So you gotta think about it. When they was making that music back then when he was younger, they weren't making music for us. They was making music for our mamas and daddies. Yeah, like they yeah. Were, you know yeah. what I mean? And that's how we got hit. We, they was uh, but sure. we, in that, we in that weird that weird era, though. Like, we seen yeah. a little bit of that. Now we seen a little bit of this. Yeah. So we kind of mm-hmm. can Millennials, a like, we, like, yeah, chameleons. Like, Millennials yeah, are chameleons. For sure, for sure. For no, for sure. Real. We like, can adapt to whatever, yeah. but, yeah. I mean, we going to The go, new we generation, vibe. boy, they different. I feel so, I don't, All mm. they want to hear is doom, 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 doom. They want to hear yeah. drill. Who the fuck what, is that? What, that's <laughs> all they, they give a fuck about. They want to make They want to... But that shit hard though. I ain't gonna lie. That shit hard I'm as fuck. I'm telling you, when that beat drop... Man, that, what? That yeah. shit was in the club But I ain't gonna... Night. We was on stage chicken noodle soup and again this yes, weekend though. Like, so. And that shit hit. That like, shit it hit. was Bro, 2006. Man, what? Yeah. We heard, heard let's get year. it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yep. I said, oh shit. Yes. Hey. But I, like I said, we're in that weird era, so we can we gonna vibe out to a little bit yeah. of everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um okay, so let's get into our set the mood segment. As y'all know, this segment is where we discuss the new music we're listening to. Well, any music we're listening to, new or old. Um, TV shows we're watching, movies we're into, all that kind of good stuff. So, what's been setting the mood for y'all lately? Man, I've been watching. Uh, well, I actually finished watching that you shit. Uh, you I haven't gotten Netflix. into you. I, I keep you can't fuck about with it. it. I was only fucking with it because they was crazy. <laughs> Like, That's I was, some type of shit, huh? when, I, when I looked at it at first, it definitely was like some I don't know. But then I yeah. kept looking, and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna watch this shit. So you they like cool. crazy stuff, man? Uh, look. Just say yes. I'll, just say yeah. All right. So did that. Okay. <laughs> like you want somebody to be crazy over you? <laughs> not man. For, for whatever reason, yeah. some dudes be like attracted to that, like a girl that's not like with crazy, them. crazy, but crazy. You want your girl to be infatuated with you? That's a something word. like that. Yeah. You yeah. wanted to pull up and wreak havoc. Infatuated. Yeah. Cause if, a scene. If it gotta come down to oh, that. Okay. Toxic. Shit. Red I'm, flag. <laughs> no, for red real. Flag. So the red flag. I'm just saying, that. just in case. That's all I was just saying. Just in case. Just in case. Just, you wanna, I don't yeah, wanna be gonna nowhere. Put you in your place just in yeah. case you got to. I'm saying, though, because if that'll show you about a motherfucker, like if they like that, then you know, like, all right, if I'm with this motherfucker somewhere in a, some certain type of situation. You gonna feel cool with them, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? You know they equipped for the crazy yeah. shit. Okay, that's a that's so a you... good points were made. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, you know about that, don't that. Don't make points sense. were made. It do I just don't that's know like about that? That's like if you got a crazy nigga. You, this is like if you got I a crazy, crazy nigga. No, I'm just saying. Just for example, if you got a crazy nigga that know you know he he gonna, he gonna pop off. Yeah, when you and some shit pop off, you know like you okay, ain't fucking with that. My nigga got me. This is the thing. I like silent killers. <laughs> 
Only person I know is you a killer is me. <laughs> <laughs> Only nobody know me and your friends. Don't nobody know. I would want a man that's gonna pop off for me, but it's still how you do it. Like, you know what I mean? It's a certain way you pop off. And you don't yeah. pop off everywhere just because you can pop off. Yeah. Because when you pop off all the time, everybody gonna know you're gonna pop off. And yeah. They gonna start being right. like, Fuck is we scared of him for? He pop off everywhere he goes. Right, like, yeah. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it's still a certain that's way you point. gotta pop yeah. off. Like, yeah. that's cool enough. I want somebody to be infatuated with me too. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Go a little crazy, yeah. you know. Y'all got her walking and ain't no roses out here. Get the roses. Get you know? the roses. Oh, get the petals. Come on, get the red carpet out get here. Get the petals. Like, <laughs> I want somebody like that for me. Nah, so I understand. Yeah. So, um, music. Music. What you been listening to? Man, I've been listening to a lot of shit, honestly. Uh, what have you been to? I know you say you like Young Thug. Okay. Oh yeah, That's Big Sean. Yes. I checked out the new yes. Big Sean Thug. That shit, mm-hmm. that shit was hard. Uh, what else stuff I was listening to? I've been listening Some to a future. Lot of I had stuff. found this one future song that was hard as fuck. It was like the nigga named FBG Goat. I feel and like Future. I think he with Free Bands or some shit. That shit was hard as fuck. Mm. Um, Aerobics. That's the name of the song. That mm. motherfucker hard. Um, they need to put Married to the Game on Apple Music. What's that? A lot of Married to the Game. Dang, how the song go? Uh, I can't think of the chorus. But it's him. Him and Metro Boomin. It was their project. I don't know why it's not on Apple Music no more. But if you go on YouTube, you can find, you can find it. it. on YouTube. I'm going to jump. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been listening to that. What else I was listening to? I was listening to some R&B shit, too. Mm-hmm. Like Me some too. jazz. R and B like uh what's um 11, Robert 11. Glasper you hit the Robert God, Glasper please. oh yeah he on some jazz R and B shit he cold though who is it Robert Glasper you want to know what's crazy I said I was gonna buy a violin and start playing again really yeah oh. I played the violin I'm gonna back you, you up ain't with the recorder no violin. I remember I, play I still violin. remember I how still remember how crossbow I still remember how crossbow I played violin first and, to twelfth grade oh for real yeah I'm dead why you, mm-hmm. you stop niggas just be wanting to know. You feel me? Well, nah. damn, be no, My I bitch got talent. Violin. Y'all know damn. she got talent. Why you stop, though? Mo got talent. I really don't know why I stopped, because I actually really enjoyed it. Like, I literally, mm-hmm. like, really enjoyed being in orchestra. That shit used to be loud. We used to play Soulja Boy, Lady Gaga. Yeah. Like, we really got turned up. Like, yeah. I can read music and everything. Yeah. Like, oh, you can read music? Mm-hmm. I'm a little rusty now, because I ain't did it in a while. But as soon yeah. as I review, I'm going to pick it right back up. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I said I was going to... They don't cost that much now, like they yeah. used to. The mom, violins. Used to Nah, they cheap as hell now. Mm-hmm. So I said I was going to buy one and play. Mm-hmm. You I should. Try, I try to play cello, but I ain't like it. Mm-hmm. For one week. I ain't here. Or, or, you, know, you know it's the violin, then the viola. Oh, that's the like one the they viola. hold. Yeah, the and then the cello. the cello is like smaller, and you yeah, sit yeah. in, and yeah. then the bass is real big. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I tried mm-hmm. that for a week. I wasn't feeling that yeah. shit. But um, what am I supposed to be telling about my music? <laughs> what you been listening to? I've been, um, are you, I, I don't know if y'all hip to Alina Barras. Yeah, she, she cold. Artist. Yeah, she just yeah. dropped two new EPs like recently. I've been listening to her. I've been listening to with JoJo. Y'all remember JoJo? Yeah, she fire. She can yes, sing. Yes, her her old albums finally got re released because she got her contract. Yes, yeah, so I've been mm-hmm. vibing to that. Um, of course, Big Shine. Um, while I new album, um, I listen to it yet. I, I listen to a couple songs. I really gotta finish listening to it. I feel like that's gonna take me a couple plays to kind of get into it. But I heard a couple songs on there that I liked. Um, uh, yeah, of course. Um. Punk. Um, the thug. Y'all know something old I've been listening to? What? My Beyonce by Dage. You were singing that Dage. the other day. Dirk and Dage. She came in my house yes. talking about Shadi, my Beyonce. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I heard, heard that on, yes, I heard that on Instagram. I was like, damn, they see my shit. I downloaded it. I didn't like that song. You did it? It was corny to me. I liked it. Okay, I've been listening to <clears throat> Don't Laugh. <laughs> damn. Cameron. Ooh, kill it, I, I watched this Drink Champs interview, and ever since then, I just got... You know how you just be getting obsessed about some Cam shit? Cameron is a vibe. That, let me get some Underst- Understandable. <laughs> I've, been listening to, I've been listening to Cameron. I've been listening to Big Sean. Um, oh, y'all want to know one song? If I do have a wedding, I'm playing this at my wedding. I don't care if it go or not. Fucking trading places by Usher. That Trade is my places? shit. That uh, was a hit though. I be playing that on the way to work. I ain't got shit to do with me getting uh, ready for the day or none of that. But yeah. I be playing trading. <laughs> I am weak. That's, that's, that's my song. Shit. Yeah, that's. Oh, I was playing uh, Travis Porter the other day. Oh, um, yeah. they just dropped some new shit, didn't they? I don't know. Did listen they? to the old shit. I think they just dropped. They some did new not shit. too long ago, but I ain't listened to it. Mm. I ain't check it yet. Mm. Oh, and. 
I gotta shout my nigga out because I've been playing his shit too. Lantana. Lantana, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been yeah. listening bro. to Maybe nah, Babies. Bro just hella. Got some heat. Yeah, definitely. Hella, hella, bro hella. I've been listening to Maybe Babies. So y'all listen yeah. to that. Hell okay. yeah. Check that out. So what you been watching? I've been watching. Okay, so y'all, if y'all have Amazon Prime, y'all gotta watch this movie called The Voyeurs. I ain't watching Oh that. my God. The who? The Voyeurs. It's a V O Y. E A U R S. It's some French shit. They in Canada, but it's in English. It's the, oh, okay. I was about but to say. um, it's so good when I tell y'all. It's so many twists and turns. Like it's, it's so like much shit you. Type shit. No, it's like a. Like it's like it's like a shit. love story, but it's oh, like nah. too love. It's like no, it's not. A, it's not a rom com. Like oh, it's. Okay. I mean, not a rom com, but it's not like no. You just gotta watch it. Like it, it is a thriller. I would say that it's a thriller, okay, but it, it's kind of got love story elements to it. But the voyeurs, if you got Amazon Prime, watch that. I've been watching Big Sky on Hulu. I seen that, but I ain't watching. it. Yeah, Big Sky's cool. Um, I've been watching. I um, watched last night. I was watching the Boondocks, y'all. I was so fucking weak. Man, like, I ain't watch that. I watched. Bro, that. I still I remember all that. the words, all the songs. I ain't seen that. In Everything. A minute. Yes, I used to love that shit, but. That's I've what I've been, been watching. watching. Uh, I watched this one. It was like a comedy for real. It was called Only Murders in the Building. Hmm? I feel it's like on I, Hulu. On Hulu, okay. Yeah, I've it seen was, that. It was it was kind of funny, but it's a, it's a funny show. You gotta watch. It's a comedy for real. Yeah. You gotta watch it. Um, I've been watching that. Then I've been watching that one show on Hulu. I think it's called La Bria, La Bria, but it's it's on some weird shit. It's about oh, yeah. it's about these people like the lady just driving to work with her kids in the car and they fall in this sinkhole in the middle of L.A. <gasps> Hella people fall in the sinkhole. And they go to a different world? They go to 10,000 B.C., but in L.A. In what the yeah. fuck? It's some weird shit, but that's it's some shit I oh, yeah. That's some shit I yeah. been Okay, too, you yeah. said it's on Hulu? It's on Hulu, yeah. Okay, and it just started. It's only got like five episodes. Oh, okay. But yeah, literally, they fall in the sinkhole. Oh. And it's crazy. Atlanta is coming back. They just dropped a trailer it. for I season three. It. I didn't need You gotta watch Atlanta. Watch Atlanta, I'm... yes, I'm excited for that, but... um. Do y'all be watching Detective Stabler? Cause I'll be watching his show. Oh, the the new is. the new spinoff for Law and Order. Yeah, it's good. I watched a couple episodes on Hulu. It's it is on season two. You yeah, ain't never watched Blacklist. Hell yeah, yeah. watch that. Did it come yeah. back on? I think I it did. Think... I ain't get back into it yet though. Mm -hmm. I, I watched think they said all it was a new eight seasons. Yeah. yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, I watched that. Shit. That's too good. Yeah, Blacklist is yeah. so Black so good. Definitely. I don't think I what um. I don't think I recently watched like no good movies or nothing. Like, mm. oh no, y'all know what y'all gotta watch. Everybody What's gotta that? watch on what? a movie, sir. Nah, this is a show. It's called Dope Sick on Hulu. Dope it's it. about this pharmaceutical company that make um oxycotton, and they basically lie and say it's not a drug that you can get addicted to. And it basically tell the story about all the people that get addicted to it, the people yeah. that's trying to take the pharmaceutical company down. Like, if yeah. you into shit like that, it's good. Okay. Like well, sh y'all ain't watched that insecure good. shit. Oh, I gotta catch up. I haven't watched the last two seasons, so I need to watch the last two seasons, the new one and the one last season. But it was cool. I yeah. was watching it. I watched it. <laughs> you yeah. like crazy Insecure shit. is good. Yeah, it's so I like relatable. Shit with action for me. Insecure is very relatable. Either, action, I feel I like, like that shit. She was. What was that? The that? Voyeurs. Yeah. The nah, Voyeurs. Whoever you said oh. they fell into that shit. That's All some shit I watched. Watch uh -huh. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm send you with the picture. Yeah, look send like me that. Because that. Mm -hmm. that shit good as hell. I be into it. Them motherfuckers fell into 10,000 nah, BC. Nah, that sounds like mm -hmm. some live shit. And they, y'all gotta watch it. I ain't yeah. gonna tell y'all. Y'all gotta okay. watch it. Well, thank you for coming. Nah, thank you. Yeah, this was a good me. episode, good conversation. I'm glad you came. You definitely can come back anytime. You got some new shit dropping. You want to come on by and promote it? You gonna make me a beat? She need a beat. If you serious, if you serious. He said, come to the studio. I'm going to come to the studio. <laughs> I'm going to come to the studio. He said, book a session. <laughs> I'm going to come. Don't worry about it. But yeah, okay. Ready to sign off? Make sure y'all watch our vlog when we get back from L.A. Because yes. it's going down. The T and Mo show once a mo. You feel me? T. M and T, mm -hmm. T and M. You know how yes. we get down. You know what we do, how we do it when we do it. Okay. 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 Well, this has been this has been another episode of No Filters the, the podcast. podcast.